Hey, we just finished up with this project here. We're doing final touch-ups right now. I'll check out the video here and you see exactly how we did it. Major transformation of this project here. It's the top view here. You can see that return wall right there on the neighbor's property. To clear all this off, got a tree stump there that I gotta get out. Probably about eight to nine foot, maybe about eight foot above the water level right now. Remove all this dirt, dig it out, be inside to that wall over there. Get busy digging right now. Well, we've had a lot of progress over here. We've got the uh, bottom just about dug out. Got the pilings started wrapping right here. The tractor here. Got the vinyl loaded up on the job site, ready to go. The whalers. And this is what I have been digging out for the past two days. Two of these stumps were locked together and actually took me six hours to get out. It's a little ridiculous, but that is a pile of stumps. Probably about 10 pine tree stumps are along the shoreline there. Super heavy, almost too heavy for the excavator. As you can see, this is a dirt that has been dug out so far. It's like a mountain back here. Nothing but roots. Here's the water's edge here. We've got our turbidity curtains out to maintain all the foam and loose roots and stuff that are breaking loose in our area here. See, I've got it excavated pretty good. Got a little bit more to do down here. We'll start driving piling today, hopefully. We'll be tying into the uh, neighbor's seawall here, not tying into it. We'll be buttoning up against it and securing our wall to their wall so there's no leaks in between at that second pole back right there, about five foot from the end. That'll give him a little bit more room to build out on the canal what he wants because there's like just a 15 foot setback here on the canal. so. Give him a little bit more room to build what he needs. Get the first uh, seawall pole set right there on the corner. Get our elevation set on it. Get our piling wrap elevation set on it. Already got our pole down here wrapped ready to go. John is getting set up with the uh, jet pipe right now. We're going with 11 foot pipe on it because we're about 10 to 11 foot in the ground on these pilings. 8 inch pilings. Got our curtains out to try to maintain all the stuff falling off the hillside, the roots, and the foam. People don't like seeing that float down the canals. A monster sized load of dirt right there too. <laughs> right on the mark, Bart K. Okay? Yeah, my guy. All right, thank you. because I'm not really sure how deep his wood boards are here. Upside down. Upside down. Oh, yeah. That's a, it's a left-handed saw. So if I use it right-handed, you got to put it right here, Chris. Yeah. You got to wave in it. You got to go down. That's right here. Good. First sheet in is always the most critical point. We got to get that exactly level and plumb uh, so that when we tie our return wall in, it runs level also. This makes everything run a lot easier if you get it right the first time. Yeah, you need your hard hat, but Mark. And I got cuts and stuff all over my fingers. My fingers are hurting right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got to get it right. Guys had a real good day yesterday. Looks like we've got about 25 foot of main wall still to install. 15 foot return wall down at that end. Ran on 18 foot sheets. We're actually installing 20 foot sheets right here. Got the um, end of the wall sealed up real good to his wall right there, the neighbor's wall. We also got another seal on the front side where we got a backwards return going out to match his wall.
foot sheets. Ran out of 18, so we're going ahead and installing the 20 footers. Got Kenneth down there operating for me. 18 year employee. It's pretty good coming up this month. Very dedicated and very capable guy. One of our best carpenters. Actually, all of them are. We just uh, try to do a consistent job all the way across the board between crews. Smiles is getting the inside whaler installed right now. Right, Smiles? <laughs> Everybody's got to see smiles on the video. stress on the operator. Good. That's going to be a good solid connection. So we'll slide that sheet back down, yep. tie it to that footer cloth, and we'll have any leaks in between the two walls. Good deal. Dog is a nut. Look at him. He keeps, he keeps barking at my bucket as I'm dumping dirt. Gallon, you're getting wet, buddy. Yourself, Chris? Okay, go and get a little closer to the wall.
good on the barge and John's backing the barge up in between boat houses. Very, very tight fit on both sides. Very snug. You gotta be really, really careful. You see that we got maybe a foot or so and a bunch of dirt on here too. Hey, we're finishing up with this project now. Got Mike on the skid steer pulling the uh, final grade on the dirt here. A lot of dirt we installed back here. Get this thing all wrapped up now. Got the uh, top cap installed, all the uh, tie backs on. Barge cleaned off a little bit, and we'll have this one wrapped up. Appreciate you guys for checking out the uh, channel. If you would, give me a subscribe and a thumbs and a like up. And a like. There's a completed product here. 150 foot of wall installed. We did that in just under a week with a demo of all the big pine trees we have here and all this backfill. The 15 foot return wall on the side over here. We'll swing around and show that. Turn wall 15 foot back. We also got it tied into the neighbor's wall, so we shouldn't have any leaks in between the two walls. Customer's not ready to build his dock and boathouse yet, he says, but when he uh, moves down from uh, Colorado, I believe, we're gonna get started on that. We got plenty of water out here for it now. Probably end up with about five, six foot of water in front of the wall. Get over here with some water clean off the top cap. We'll have this one all pretty up, ready to go.